remember an epiphany moment where I knew I wanted to be a musician. I kind of don't remember not wanting to be a musician. Uh, what's the old cliche? You don't choose music, it chooses you. As a kid, I grew up listening to Top 40 radio. My parents bought me a drum set when I was eight. I never looked back. As far as any songs that, specific songs that shaped me, I mean, there's so many. Uh, I used to go down to a friend's house down the street. Uh, his older sister had a 45 collection. We'd listen to 45s, classic soul, you know, Stax, Motown. That music spoke to me. Uh, friend turned me on to Jimi Hendrix. Uh, the first time I heard Little Wing from Axis Bold as Love, I mean, that psychedelic soul sound, uh, I loved it. I could stare at that album cover for hours. Uh, the Allman Brothers Live at the Fillmore in memory of Elizabeth Reed. That's basically how I learned how to play guitar listening to that album. Uh, later on, Prince hit the scene and I was blown away. He's a huge inspiration to me. When I heard his Dirty Mind record, I'd never heard anything like it. It was punk, but it was funk. I loved it. Uh, Prince, he's a genius. Choosing my favorite city to perform in, uh, that's a tough one, but I'm gonna go with my adopted hometown of New York City. I was fortunate to play guitar with Sting on his Nothing Like the Sun World Tour, so I got to go around the world a couple of times with him. Played some amazing places. Uh, Tokyo, London, Rio, Paris. It was an amazing journey. Once in a lifetime experience. But. I like being closer to home in New York. Uh, I've been able to find steady work in New York as a Broadway musician. I played guitar in Mamma Mia. And we had a nice 14 year run with ABBA's musical. Uh, I played Dance Queen many more times than the guys in ABBA have, I'm sure. I'm currently playing guitar in Andrew Lloyd Webber's School of Rock. We're having a blast over there. It's really nice. Uh, the road was exciting, but walking to work is exciting too. Wow, if I could be in any band at any point in history, that's a tough one. Uh, I tend to listen to music from the bottom up. I'm a really groove-oriented guy. I love it funky, I love it rhythmic. I mean, I appreciate great lyrics, Springsteen, Bob Dylan. I mean, those are very powerful words, but I can also read powerful words in a book. I think that melody and rhythm really define music for me, so I am definitely drawn to the groove. Uh, that being said, <laughs> I guess I would choose um, Sly and the Family Stone, one of my all-time favorite bands. Perfect blend of funk and rock, uh, you know, distorted guitars, wah-wahs, uh, funky horn section, Hammond organ, screaming vocals. I just loved what they were doing. Another band along those lines was Edgar Winter's White Trash. Totally rocking. Uh, if I could have an honorable mention, I would say Led Zeppelin. I'm a huge Led Zeppelin fan. Whenever people ask me the greatest rock band of all times, is it the Beatles, is it the Rolling Stones? I just chuckle and say, uh, I think it's Led Zeppelin. If I knew then what I know now, that's a loaded question with lots of good answers, but for musicians out there, I would say ear training. I wish I'd worked on my ear training more than I did. Uh, of course, technique is important, understanding theory is important, but I see those as left brain analytical type issues. But if you can just hear what's happening, that unlocks the mystery of music. I wish I had sung more, worked on my singing more. I think if you can sing it, it means you can hear it. I wish I'd sung in church choirs more, school choirs more. Uh, I envy people that can pluck a harmony out of thin air and sing it, uh, not to mention if you're an instrumentalist that sings, you stay busy. Your phone rings a lot. If you're a guitarist that sings, drummer, keyboard player that sings. Uh, one other little thing I would add, if I knew then what I know now, I would say party a little less. When you're performing, there's a lot of partying around, a lot of excess. I think it's important to keep things professional and keep your eye on the prize. <laughs>